Welcome to another stream here on Cloat Reaper Games, another Cloat Reaper Plays. Today we're going to be checking out Golem. It comes out tomorrow on the 15th, and I already played a couple hours of it. I've started a new game for us to do a stream real quick, but man, this is a great game. I'm loving it so much. Spoiler alert, everybody's got to get this. It's such a beautiful game. This is hands down in the top three, possibly number one, for the best looking game on PlayStation VR. Seeking Hide. You better fall off a cliff or something. Hmm. So the game has a slow start, but once it gets going, hold. It gets going, and it's so, so awesome. I can't wait to go back and continue my game You're supposed to be and helping get further. The it's wagon. just, wow. I guess I should too. It's so beautiful. You ever dream what it would be like to live there? Look at the reflections and the lighting on her bracers. It's just... Wait till you see everybody walking. It's incredible. The shadows. Everything. I miss Mother too. But you can't keep running off like this. She wouldn't have wanted that. We better not let Pa see us this far off the road. Try to keep up, Doombug. I know just the thing to make you feel better. Yeah, so there are a couple different ways to control this. One is the way it's showing right now, is to sit up straight, hold the trigger, and lean forward like that to um, to move forward or back. It's basically like a 3D rudder. Uh, it's not bad, but I'm not enjoying that movement scheme so much. Um, I don't feel like leaning forward all the time, just to walk. So. I'm using one move controller, which you only use one move anyway. But I'm using one move controller in one hand and the dual shock in the other to I'm use the left analog stick to walk if around. I'm going to bring you out scavenging. I need to know I can trust you. Pause right, Twine. You need to be careful. Sky, I'm talking to you. You're the oldest. You know better than to run off. Uh, but I was looking for Twine. No excuses. The ruins are dangerous. They are no place for children. Yeah. Next time, we'll stay home and take care of Twine. In a few years, when you're older, maybe... I'll be 17 this summer! Balding. Used to say you could see through the dark. I could even see he's got a bald spot coming through in the back top of his head. That, that's how good the graphics are. 
I can see his bald spot coming in. You see about that? You better hide that spindle before all the wardens at the crossroads confiscate it. Well, I'll just hide it under your cups. They'll never look there. <laughs> This is so awesome. Cool. A lot of particles. snoring but keep quiet Paul still sleeps like a warden you know he only wants to protect you right to keep you safe but the only way to be safe is to be strong and that's what I'm gonna teach you starting tonight I made you a present if we have time maybe I'll show you a trick what a beautiful one too Nice eyes, huh? Loving it. This game has such a style to it. Yeah. We currently only have click turning for the moment. Which does suck, but we should be getting some smooth turning. And either way, you really don't click turn that often. You really just use your head to move about. Er, to turn and use the analog stick to move about. So it's not too big of a deal. It'd be nice to have someone turn though. Where are you going? Uh, that was a quick turn right there. If you hold the button, you do a 180 quick turn. <coughs> I ain't worried about that. I'm just using the dual shock. Following the glowing ball of light. Yeah, shadow. You even see my hood coming up. My scarf, I mean. Found some. Oh, look at these shadows. Ready? Unbelievable. First, a few rocks. The draw distance is insane. Just throwing some rocks. That's nothing. Now, watch what happens with something living, like these acorns. It's called the barrier, and it goes around the whole city, like a wall. It goes over it, too. I've seen it do that to a whole flock of birds. Not pretty. Some fools tried to tunnel under it. Just ended up digging their own grave. This is why we aren't allowed in the ruins. But the hills have been picked over hundreds of times. There's nothing there but junk. The good relics are on the other side of the barrier just out of reach. Have a seat, Twine. You're about to find out why I'm the best scavenger in the village. I cheat. Nobody here to talk to me. I'm all alone. Everybody's off playing Contagion. <coughs> Whoa.
was loud. bridge through the dream world from us to the gold hmm. mother gave this to me when I became a dream hmm. and I have another one at home for you we whoa how did you do that no that is a big mess believe that happens. Unbelievable. Yo. Hey. Dwayne. <laughs> wow. Thank goodness you're awake. Don't try to move, little one. We found you trapped under a wall. Your leg, it was bad. We set the bones, but Pocket said they may never heal the same. I'm so sorry. Here, for when you're stronger. Or I can always carry you around on my shoulders, right? Twine, there's a reason I make rules. Even if they don't seem fair. We talked about it in the wagon. You were supposed to stay home. I warned Sky not to go near that place. I warned her it wasn't safe that someone was going to get hurt, but she wouldn't listen and now she's... By the time I got there, Sky was. She wasn't breathing. There was nothing I could do. You need to rest. Yeah, rest. I'm sorry, Tom.
Still going through that bit of a slow start, got probably 15, 20 minutes more of it. Then we get to where stuff starts going and it gets awesome. <laughs> I've never had an arm that was as short as this one. <clears throat> Look at that, there I am up there controlling the doll now with the dreamstone and hey, hey now I can see what he's seeing through the dreamstone in my world out here just by holding the move button it, that's, that's amazing such a yeah hell of a way to show perspective <laughs> do 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 there's a big rug when you're a little tiny doll. Don't fall in the hole. It's me. That's a really big bug. But yeah, you see I'm not really using any turning at all besides my head and I'm not even really doing much to have that work. So the quick turn isn't too bad, but I would still appreciate some smooth turn. You know what else is amazing? Roots are actually roots. <coughs> By the way, um, <laughs> the bugs, it, this entire game looks so, so much better in the headset. I uh, saw a couple other people stream it, and wow, it looks so much better in the headset. And also, these bugs are gigantic in the headset. They don't look that big on the social screen, but they're huge in the headset. My goodness. Look at that move. Look at them jumping, pouncing to attack. My goodness. Them bugs wasn't joking around. <clears throat> we had to die there, though. There's no surviving that one. Gotta get us a glow crystal, I think it's called. Glow crystal, right? Glow crystal. There we go. Yeah. Now let's go.
Now we have our glow crystal to scare the bugs away and light up our darkness. I don't know why I clicked turn just then. That's hilarious to see this arm. Probably can't see it on the social screen. But my left arm is over there just like flailing about as I walk. The doll is just, it's just bouncing around. It's hilarious. The very bottom left corner of the headset, I can just barely see it as it loops around. Just shining the light on them has not worked very well when I was doing it before I got eaten trying to do that. You had to move it around and hit them rapid with it for some reason. And footsteps. There was tracks everywhere, huge ones, coming straight out the city. Don't make me close the circle for you. That child is a dreamer. It's been a hard day, Orchid. I don't want to talk There would be about bugs right all over this place. I wasn't moving Orchid. this thing back and I forth like this. There, but they ain't gonna look the other way this oh, God, I don't remember Not which way it is. I think it's this way. What am I supposed to tell them? I lost my wife to that place. And now I've uh, lost my daughter. Isn't this that way? Not? You know it Wait, won't I could work be wrong. like that, Scratch. I don't think it is that way. But I'll try this way. to keep Twine out of it. I'll tell him that Sky snuck out by herself. I'll tell him that now she's gone. I'll tell him that she's dead. Tell them that they can go straight to the sleepers. Tell them if they step foot in my home, I'll send uh. them there myself. But Scratch, they're wardens. They it. It. That's enough. Oh, uh. Leave me alone. I don't want to be eaten by you right now. I'm ready to go start fighting golems. Yeah, that's right. Leave me alone. I'm out of here. My arm is so short. Oh, I can stretch it out. <laughs> Is that leaf really big or am I just small? Look at the veins in the leaf though, man. They killed it with these textures. Look at that. Just. I, I know you can't see the depth on the social screen, but these are here. It, amazing. I don't know how they were able to do this on this. Oh gosh. Where'd you come from? I'm not sure I noticed that other bigger doll when I... Oh yeah, I did notice that. I just didn't take a good look at it the first time. Alrighty. We're almost there. There must not be any exterminators in this world, this universe. Cause this is a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs under these people's house. Stay away. Yeah, you 
go over there. That doll is so much bigger than me because I'm a doll right now. That that's supposed to be a doll. That is a big doll. Whoa! Hmm. See these these roots are three D models. These are here. These aren't just flat textures. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Whoa. Something messed up that bug. Whoa. There's a lot of them. No, 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 no. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Get away! I don't want to die. It takes way too long to walk through all this stuff over again. <laughs> Yeesh. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. Whew. Let's go. Get me out of these caves. This this is cool and enjoyable the first time through. But the second time, after you've already fought some golems, you're like, oh man, I just gotta go fight some more golems. Get some more weapons. Get some more echoes. I, I got stuff to do. I can't be just sitting here walking around through caves all day. I got stuff to do. You know? Which I do, actually. I got like over 200 collectibles to find. To make a guide for. And that is going to be some serious work. Get this going. Look at me. Wow, 
this crystal's working all the way over there. My gosh, that is a powerful light. Good stuff. So we got the chunk of quartz and the garnet gemstone right now. So you're going to need those to put into their chest and they'll have different perks or abilities, let's call them. And then mass, you'll get different mass throughout the game to open different doors to get to new areas. And of course, you get more weapons. Now, we get to the fun stuff. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, I know all about the movement. And as golems, we don't worry about no barriers. We just walk right through them. We ain't worried about no barriers. Look at this though. The, the, the draw distance on this is insane. I've never seen anything like the draw distance in any VR game ever. Not, not even half of this probably. This is insane how good this looks. It's amazing. I still can't get over it. I'm going to go on to take out some more golems in a minute here. It's gonna be good stuff. So these things here... I'm not sure what that was. So these things here are um, uh, the echoes. And there are four or five different types of them and I'm not gonna grab this one right now because for one it's gonna say some kind of spoiler like stuff. And two, I kind of need to leave it there for grabbing footage for the collectibles guide and then there uh, there's actually a sword over there as well that I'd be able to pick up but again need that for a trophy so I'm gonna leave that for the guide as well what the hell oh okay I can't do that until we're going to play a game this one. these okay. iron cages are called echoes a dreamstone can send you thoughts, but echoes can hold them. When you listen to one, it's like my thoughts are coming back to you. So these things are all over the place. There are a hundred of those echoes. There are another hundred treasures. All the golem artifacts. There's all kinds of stuff to go find and go looking for and exploring. You're going to spend a lot of time in this game and you just going to love every minute of it. I love the weapons. But this is so freaking cool. And the clanging from the the rings. Love that attention to detail. And I love the sound of it. Every, everything. They just did such an amazing job on this game. Uh, yeah, we just got more echoes here right now. Again, I'm not too worried about picking up the echoes right now because I want to uh, save that for getting footage. We got some fighting to do. Not a golem just yet, but we will in just a second. Got some dudes throwing spears at us. Oh. Not happening. Sorry, but Oh. The golem fights are much, much better than that. Hold on a second. 
Let me see if. Okay. I just did a small recenter real quick. So that would be one of the treasures. Oh yeah, you're uh, solid objects. Things are real in this game. Love it. That would be a treasure though. Isn't it amazing? Look at that. It's a real object. And we have our first golem fight. Here we go. Let's do it. So for your first fight, it is gonna tell you where to put your weapon like that. But after this one fight, it's not gonna do that anymore. I actually forgot to counter. same movements is going to be throughout the whole game. It's going to change, they're going to get more difficult, they're going to get different weapons, all kinds of stuff. So we got his weapon just then, and we got the, uh, I forget what the thing that goes in the chest is, we got that thing right there. <laughs> love it, love it. So far, uh, there's pretty much nothing I don't love about this game. The only thing I could say I don't love is that uh, we don't have smooth turn. That's really the only issue I have with this. Besides that, it's damn near perfect. Oh, oh. Woo. Take that. Uh -uh. Capitation. Oh, this isn't where I thought I was. <laughs> it's on the other side of that wall. Again, I'm not going to grab it because I'm saving it for the guide. But there's a mace over there, and it's friggin' awesome. And of course, you can break down wooden doors like this one and see this is a roguelike game so whenever you die you start over uh, from the first area but you open shortcuts like this that allow you to get to where you were much much quicker instead of having to run through the whole game again you also start spawning closer to your shortcuts as well once you open new doors. It all works very, very well. We've got another sword over there. And the golem that I can hear. Is that the same sword as this or no? No it isn't. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it. For the trophy god. God, I should have used quick turn there left to forever to turn around. All right, first real fight. Here we go. Let's do it. Yes, yes, I win. I win. Oh. Hmm. oh. I don't know how I did that. block that. How could this, like, not become my new favorite game? I mean, it's amazing. So whenever you kill golems like that, they're, I don't know what you call it. I, 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 they're just clay and rock, so they don't really have spirits, but uh, it goes and opens a new door. 
That is a different sword. It's got a full three rings. While this one has two. Uh, let's get his quartz or I forget the name of it. Huh. Alright then. So here's where you find all these doors and you kill golems to get their masks and you use that mask to open a door to go to a new area and then you just find more doors so this game is friggin huge there's quite a lot to do here uh, oh yeah so whenever we killed that first golem it opened up this devil door here which made a shortcut because uh, the double door is down there. That's where we started the game. It's so not if you die, you can just run straight up through here. It's very, very, don't hate me, Dark Souls style. Take it from someone who got the platinum on every Souls game, starting from Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, 3, Bloodborne, every one of them. This is our Dark Souls VR for the time being. By far. Yeah. Not only is it really hard, but you get to the point. I, I'm wondering if, oh, he is supposed to kill me. So, okay, so I just realized, whenever I come back here, he's not going to be there. I wondered why he wasn't there when I came back before. Now I realize he's supposed to kill you. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the combat of Dark Souls. <laughs> It's got the difficulty of Dark Souls. And it's a it's an open world the way that Dark Souls is an open world and uses shortcuts to get around the areas faster. It, the layout is awesome. It's just everything's very, very well done. Let's see, we died, but instead of spawning all the way back up there where we were, we spawned right here because this is our newly opened shortcut in a good spot. And if I'm not mistaken, that second golem that we killed opened up a set of doors back over from the way that we came. That way we could go up some stairs and kill yet another golem. Wow, now that I'm talking about it out, li out loud, and it's just like going around killing really big golems to open up new places to go fight more really big golems as kind of sounding a little bit like Shadow of the Colossus, isn't it? Hmm. I like that. I'm totally okay with that. So this is our Shadow of the Colossus slash Dark Souls game. That's what it will be. Oh, oh God. Oh, my move controller. Something went wrong there. Why can't I block that attack? I don't get it. this game so friggin much alrighty now see there we go that that gate there those double doors were locked when we walked through this area the first time but now they are open we are good to go and fight the first golem that frickin destroyed me this is the first guy that killed me, and I'm pretty sure he killed me twice. Maybe, yeah, twice. He he was not joking around, this guy here. This is the guy you get your first new mask from. Oh my gosh, why can't I block that attack? I don't understand. Uh, 
I can't block that attack for some reason. Alright. One more. Let's go. Oh, we finally blocked it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get his mask. You can see right there. I got his mask and his ports or whatever it's called. Uh, as we know, that's the first mask I picked up. And I haven't put a new one on, so this one is locked. Because I don't have that mask. And I'm not wearing it. But now we have just about gotten to the point where I am in my actual save game. Which, um... The one I deleted before starting this one up, actually. We're almost back there, so... Whoa. Walked right through that gate. Now that we've defeated him and gotten his mask, we need to get to the next area. But, in order to change mass, we have to go to the workshop. So, wrong button. I do this and return to workshop. This is gonna kill our current golem, so we lose our weapon or whatever it is that's in our chest, our quartz, I forget what it's called, the gemstone, whatever. We lose that and uh, we gotta go make a new one. So it, it is roguelite. It's, uh, there's the amethyst one that I just got from killing the one with the mask. But, um,. We're just gonna stick with the garnet gemstone right now. And yeah, so we were using the copper mass before that it came with. And then we killed that golem and got this tide mass. So now we have access through tide doors and it does extra damage against golems wearing rust mass. And I uh, w did, I went out of my way not to pick up any new weapons except for the ones that the golems dropped and the ones that I killed all dropped the same sword I had. So we didn't get a new sword, but we did get our new mask. So we're gonna go use that to open up this door, go down here and kill this golem and probably uh, go through just a, a tiny bit more. And I'm gonna cut it there because that is the point where I've made it to. And um, I want to do the rest in solitude and focus because man all these collectibles are not going to be easy to keep track of so i might have to be paying attention and make sure i get everything right for you guys to help you all out so stay tuned for that so we have a tide mask on now i, I wish i had names <laughs> That's awesome. Hilarious. So that's the mask we just put on. Oh, look at that gemstone. I like it. Look at the detail on these arms. Look, look at those engravings. It, it's so, man, it looks so good. Dirt on the blade, I, I just I can't believe it. Open sesame. There you go. Now when I met this golem, for the first time, he also killed me. Oh, wait, did he? I don't remember. He might have. I know he got really, really close to killing me. I don't think he succeeded, but I know he got really, really close. I was wearing that, the amethyst jewel, so the one that gives you some health back. So when he did some damage to me, I'd back up and try to let that regen a little bit. I love the, man, the animation on that when he reels back is just so good. I, they could not have done that better. Amazing. And the combat, what? How could you guys give us something so good? He's spoiling us here. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Love this game. I 
got a new sword. Got another amethyst chest piece there. I didn't get too close to hitting that, but okay. And now we are at the point where I am in my game, I believe. I may have gotten killed by a Another golem and then oh actually I think I stopped to go eat is why I, uh, Oh god Holy crap Oh whew. I love this game so freaking much I can't get enough of it Also huge huge shout out to Hightwire and Perp Games for are hooking me up with a review key uh, thank you so much and yes this is what happened this guy killed the friggin crap out of me with his halberd there all right let's try it again oh oh so that's the thing they get different weapons they start doing different attacks you have to dodge differently like that stab there that thrust attack there we go there we go so you gotta parry the thrust attack as it comes at you. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That is hard to do, I gotta say. There we go, got it. Come on, bro. What you got? Oh, I was supposed to hit his head. What? What? That's the first time one of them talked to me. I love. Oh! God, I love parrying. That is so freaking cool and satisfying. Ah, I couldn't reach that leg. Come on. Come on. Love the parry. Oh god, he's so tall! Come on, man, I can't reach that. What's happening here? Ooh. Oh! I heard it hit the wall behind me and the rocks break down. Whoo, whoo. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Don't let me die. Come on. Got you. Got you. Oh no. It's not over. Oh no. He's super tall now. Oh goodness. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Perry. Oh my gosh! Whoa! 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 I just got decapitated. Holy crap! Wow. That guy is no friggin' joke. Man, he is not messing around. But we are now at the exact point where I was in my previous game. So we're going to call it here, but verdict so far as uh, we ran through that and I don't know, counting the slow beginning, probably an hour and 10, 20 minutes. I'm not looking at how long it's been, but uh, when I did that, my first playthrough, that was two, two and a half hours easy. Just going through there and searching everywhere and picking up every item, killing everything, finding all the echoes. It was awesome. I loved it so much. It was so great. Everybody, get ready to pick up Golem digitally tomorrow or on the 22nd if you want it physical because you're going to love it so much. Just be prepared for something incredibly beautiful, an awesome journey, and some of the most fun gameplay you can have. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>